guys uh, look at what two face said about our uh, burner boy he said burner boy is among the top five biggest artist in the world and a lot of people are now agreeing to this you know brother boy last night uh somehow shut down a particular arena performed before 200,000 persons that is a big win for afrobeat to understand i think Bonner boy is the champion of afrobeat right now in 2024 Bonner boy has uh, dazzled a lot of people beyond and showing us that afrobeat can be better than what it used to be and i kind of commend his uh, you know approach to this afrobeat thing i will still commend the management of burner boy to an extent because they've actually done a lot for burner boy and the improvement is massive to an extent and that is a big commendation to the manager of burner boy who is his mom right now i think burner boy actually got the best that is something i can say and uh, to an extent do you quite agree with two face edibia because a lot of people are still arguing this whether burner boy is the biggest artist in africa right now based on statistics based on performances you know shutting down arenas and the rest some people will not really agree but i agree to an extent right now in 2024 brother boy is the biggest artist in africa based on what he has actually achieved within 2024 and now a lot of people will tell you that burner boy is going to get a grammy nomination that is actually big to an extent and burner boy has actually launched himself into the international scene and that is really working for burner boy although people will come out to say burner boy uh this guy always sample is a sampler and the rest but you have to acknowledge your strength you have to use your strength to win in life if now sample you sabi sample to actually become the best or the biggest why don't you do that because everybody wants to you know kind of win in this life why don't you allow somebody to do what is working for the person to understand i think the biggest export we have in afrobeat right now in 2024 in africa is burner boy that is something i kind of understand about the whole thing but when you go to the female category um when you talk about the nigerian music scene you should be talking about terms is the big Biggest female uh, Afrobeat export in Nigeria, and when you talk about the African scene, you should be talking about Tyler because she actually had a Grammy Award and made impact in the music industry in us that is a big one and a lot of people are now saying that you know uh, tyler is an industry plant away from tyler let's talk about the nigerian music industry and the afrobeat community in nigeria this is one big thing that we need to continually get keep and we need to also promote to the international scene right now but to an extent we have to create our own and strengthen our own institutions like the headies like um you know um the sound city and other kind of awards in africa platform and that will give us opportunity to always compete globally and express ourselves a lot of people are now like you know trying to launch themselves into the afrobeat in nigeria especially the likes of chris brand is a friend of afrobeat i kind of say this always because he has actually collaborated in afrobeat supported a lot of people earlier on but right now it has come uh, for us to actually support this guy to an extent and that is what is really getting and it's one of my favorite in terms of uh, you know foreign artists out there uh because of the love and the interest he has in uh, afrobeat to an extent what is your own take about all of this i want you to put that in the comment section so that we can talk about it further now let's talk about other things trending out on social media in nigeria a lot of people are prepping themselves uh for you know uh the protest and the government is looking for the organizers of the protests but i will assure you that the protests don't really have organizers i don't want celebrities and a lot of other people to launch themselves into it right now a lot of people are really hungry in this country insecurity inflation is you know two digits and a lot of people are fed 
up with a lot of things right now the government is not really responsive because when you kind of uh, listen to what they say and the decision they take in regards to a lot of things some people are really concerned about that recently dangote called out the government and a lot of people got to understand that the government is the problem right there but what is your own take about the protest and what is your own feeling about this i want you to put that in the comment section so that we can talk about it further terms is one of the prettiest um you know nigerian uh, artists right now that is something i can tell you because merely looking at the body of terms or her physical you know look you will get to understand that she got the characteristics of an african woman Woman, and that is an African woman there. That is the way God created us until some people started modifying themselves or editing themselves to look better and the rest. But when you look at terms, you understand right now that she has improved in terms of stage performance and now she knows how to carry herself on stage and that is really working out for terms at a time like this. Let's catch a glimpse of that. Like what I said about Burner Boy being the biggest artist, I think we need to catch a glimpse because this guy performed uh, before 200,000 persons and that was really, really massive. Let's catch a glimpse of Odogu's performance. <laughs> What is your own take about this? Don't fail to put your own opinion in the comment section because I want you guys to be a part of this daily. And you can go and check me out on other social media platforms and be a part of our daily conversation. We have a lot of videos always coming up on our platforms and talking about Afrobeat. We are lovers of Afrobeat. We are promoters of Afrobeat. That is something I kind of understand about that. What is your own prediction about the future of Afrobeat? It has been forecasted that by 2025, you know, uh, the music industry in Nigeria is going to worth about $14 billion. That is what a lot of people are really talking about. And now some people are saying that is a big investment for Nigeria to an extent. But it's time we kind of uh, focus on having institutions that are working within the Afrobeat in Nigeria. Like the Hedis, we can strengthen the Hedis to be one of the most prestigious awards in Africa. We can still do a lot of things on the, the copyright issue. And then, you know, uh, lawyers, entertainment lawyers are shorting in Nigeria. And we need to actually invest massively on that. That is something I can say about that. What is your own take about this? I want you to put that also in the comment section so that we can talk about it for that. A lot of people are really interested in this good vibe. And that is really, really massive to an extent. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos. And thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below. The bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.